In this lesson, we're going to look at formula from experimental data. Now, in the reality of this, we're trying to find an equation for an experiment that creates an exponential graph. Now, previously what we've done is we've worked out formulae for um, experiments that result in a straight line, or a quadratic for that matter. This kind of thing here, where you plot a formula for y equals mx plus c on a grid, and that forms a straight line. At a higher level, we need to look at exponential growth. And this forms an exponential graph like this. Now, in this section, what we're trying to do is we're trying to work out the multiplier at the front of the exponential and also the power. So what is this graph? Is it y equals 3x to the power 2? Is it y equals 5x to the power 3? Um, we wouldn't know. Uh, we'd just be able to plot the information on the graph and then we need to work it out what it is. Now, the way to do that is to take logs of both x and y axis. If you take logs of both the x and the y axis in this format here, then you end up with a straight line. Now, how do we end up with a straight line from this? Well, I'm just going to show you. So, first thing you do is you take logs of both sides. The next thing that you do is you use your log laws to split this side up. When you multiply k by x to the n, you can rewrite it as log of k plus uh, log x to the n. We're not talking about bases at the moment, we'll go into that later. The next log law you can use is you can take your power down to the front. So we rewrite it like this. And then we just switch these two about. So this is your gradient, the n, and this here is your intercept. So we have this in the format of y equals mx plus c, albeit we've got logs in the way, but it's still the format of y equals mx plus c. Now, let's look at a question you might be asked. So the relationship between two variables in the form y equals kx to the n an experiment to test this relationship produced the data shown in the graph. So the original experiment would have produced an exponential, but taking logs and plotting them against each other formed a straight line. We can use this to work out the k and the n. What was the original experimental data? Was it an exponential of y equals 4x to the power 6, or, or whatever it was? That's what we're trying to work out. So we do the same procedure every time here, just like I did in the last screen. The first thing you need to do is you need to take logs of both sides. In this case, we're working to the base 2, so we'll do that. The next thing you want to do is you want to split this up, like we did last time from your log laws. So log k to the base 2, plug log x to the n to the base 2, plus even. Take your n down, and rearrange it. I'll just move that over a wee bit. So what we have here is, this is your intercept, and n is your, I'll just move that as well, n is your gradient. So what we can do now is we can look back up here, and we can say, right, I can work out the gradient from here, doing delta y over delta x, and also know my intercept is 5. So, if I do delta y over delta x, I'm going to get 8 take away 5, and 9 take away 0, um, because this coordinate here is, is 0, 5. So that's going to give 1 third. You're going to get 3 over 9, which simplifies to a third. So that's what your n value is, we've worked it out. And your intercept, if you look up here, is 5, so this is going to equal 5. Now to work out what k is, 2 is your base and, and 5 is your power. So you basically just rearrange this to 2 to the power of 5. And that comes out as 32. So basically what we're saying is, 
We've worked out the value of k, it's 32, and we've worked out n to be a third. So we can rewrite the equation as that, and that's it, you're finished. You've worked out the values of n, and you've worked out the values of k.